We're going to play on Super Beard Bros Weekend. <laughs> you better bet your sweet <laughs> ass it's the Subspace Emissary starring <laughs> us, the Super Beard Brothers. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I'm Alex. Gerard. What's up, guys? What's up? We figure Smash is coming out real soon. Why not play through the Subspace Emissary and get real hype about it? Because no one liked this except for me and you. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's fine. I think it's going to be tight. And we have an extra controller slot just in case anybody wants to come by and jump in as we go. Yeah, but Alex apparently does not want to play. There's too much trivia. Yeah, I mean, it, there would be. Yeah, I, I got to stay true to the spirit of the show, man. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So we're going to have guests from all over the YouTube space. Yeah, it's going to be join great. Join us in our epic battle for, for the win of time. For the win of time. Yes. Yeah, man. Look, this looks great for the Wii. I know everyone craps on it, but... Brawl? Yeah. I love Brawl. It's Every just not, like... The problem with Brawl, I get that people are unhappy with the fact that it's not very, uh... Like, competitively friendly. Like, if you want to play it seriously. You know? Yeah. In the way that at least, compared to Melee, I feel like is the sort of gold standard at the moment. Uh, but Bra Brawl was a good game. It was, like, really well done. A like, very good, beautiful, detailed game. So, I don't know. I don't think it was a failure. Uh, question of the day. What are your thoughts on Super Smash Bros. Brawl? I would love to know what the general consensus is. I know that there's, like, it's very polarizing. I know it's very, like, simultaneously fun and kind of stupid. So, let me know what you think. It's a good question, right? I think so. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna do the adventure mode, Subspace Emissary. The question is... The question is, uh, do you want to do it on a mode besides, uh, like regular? Like, do you want to go hard? Can we? It's up to you. If we can, yeah. I'm playing with the Wiimote, guys. Because um, Gerard I'm, is I'm, crazy? It, it's really, okay, hold on. It's not that crazy. Um... And down smash, and let's do a quick save. I'm ready. Not crazy. I just the the we don't have our our wave birds are out of commission right now, and uh, the Wii is far away from where we're recording. So yeah, I think I think that there's a lot of games that are like. Like, this game, like, people are very particular about what the proper way to play it is, you know what I mean? There's a lot of different, like, traditions that people have. Where is the beard? There it is. There he is. Yeah. Intense? No. <laughs> is that what you want? I don't want anything. I- we just got through a traumatically hard experience. <laughs> if you want to go hard, if you want to go hard, I'm not going to stop you, but be prepared to die more. Well, you- you pick. No! You want intense? You Is that what you want? You're the one who's playing. You pick. You want, do you, I feel like internet wants intense. Okay. Let's make it intense. Yeah, let let our reputation not be tarnished. So this this uh this location is called the Midair Stadium. Uh it's from the beginning of the game, from the uh, training area of the game. Uh so check that out. But Subspace Emissary is interesting. Subspace Emissary, uh I just don't understand the trophy stuff in this game for the surface air emissary portion. What do you mean? Like why? Why the subs? Why? You know? I think they just wanted to make the game feel a little bit more fully fleshed out. I, I think it's cool. Like this uh, Mario Kirby fight, right? It's famous because it's uh, in the uh, in the trailer for the original Super Smash Bros. Do you remember uh, Mario and Kirby fight each other? I didn't know that. No. In, the, in like a field. I don't remember that. Yeah. 
I remember the commercial. Imagine Hilarious. me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. Oops. Yeah. Oh God. Here we go. Uh, this is the home stage for PD Piranha. Yeah, uh, which we're gonna be seeing in just a few moments. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing in just a second. Um, the opening cutscene. I made. I maybe made a mistake. The opening cutscene uh, of the Kirby Mario battle. This is the uh, melee music playing. The menu music from Melee. Uh, which is interesting. And uh, we're gonna play against some Primids. It's gonna be crazy. Last night, uh, you know, these leakers have been playing, uh, have been playing Super Smash Bros. on Twitch. Did you watch any of that? I sure have. Uh, I woke up this morning to uh, them unlocking some characters, which I don't want to say yeah, what we're characters. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna spoil. I know that a lot of people on Twitter were complaining that their favorite YouTubers were ruining. Oh, damn it! We're not gonna spoil it, but uh, so funny. Did I just lose? Did you? No. Oh no! I got one more life. Yeah, one more life. Is that one more life for this playthrough? No, for this for this level, I think. Um, Jaywitz was like. Watching these people play and just like talking like hard smack on them. Oh, like for like not being good at the game. Yeah, like they were unable to unlock characters. Like they were like losing to the characters in their unlock fights. They're not that uh, hard. I mean, they're not they're not that easy. Well, they've I mean. never been hard in the past. Yeah. I mean, they've been like a little bit challenging, but to lose is crazy. My question now is: Are you regretting choosing intense? A little bit. Get out of here, Kirby. I'm just not- I'm also not, also not a Mario player, so that makes a difference, but- Yeah, that's real. I have to play as every character through this playthrough, so that'll be fun. Here we yeah. go, we got a nice cutscene here with Pit. Yeah, something about trophies. What? Something about trophies. He's like watching it from his, like, pool. So, is there lore to this game? Like, is there like a real story? I don't know, you tell us. I, like... I'm getting... It's weird, like, what's the deal with these trophies? Like, is it supposed to be like, kids playing? Or is it like, some like, multi-dimensional thing? I always thought it was kids playing. That's what I thought at first, but then this stuff kinda happens. It makes you think Meta Knight's the villain. Yeah, cause it really does seem like he is. But it's not. So here comes and here comes primids. Here comes uh, the heartless from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Here they are. Dun 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 dun. Heartless. So now uh, the menu music from this game plays when you fight them. You get to choose one of these four. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's a big question. Should I play as? What do you think? Zelda. Right. Sheik's really good. I'm not good at Sheik. I'm not good. I think I'm not good at any of these characters. Kirby. Really. Kirby's really easy to use. Oh, she's my my order. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, Peach is my last resort. Peach is pretty good. Yeah. Not good as her though. Yeah. We, these are like the characters I never play as. So you have four chances. That's pretty cool. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be that tough. Don't forget about that, like, jump drop and the- and the block thing that you have. Your up B and your down B are both, like, really good for, like, crowds. Whoa. I did not expect- oh man, I'm already down a guy! <laughs> oh, get out of here! Those are, uh, enemies from Kirby. This is crazy. So... What... the heck? This is crazy. There is lore for everything. So the first guy... Ugh. This is not going well, Alex. This isn't going well? Not so far, at least. Oh! What in the hell? Like, it's so confusing. Once we can play as the characters we want to play as, this will be much easier. 
Yeah, Primid, Boom Primid, Spock, Sword Primids, PD Piranha. This is crazy. So this is just like, what this is? Reminds me of Tekken 3. Yeah, the Spock are, um... Cloud with facial features. It's it's like a Japanese, like, sort of like, English version of Spark. Okay. And it's a part of the subspace army. If you guys are wondering what the subspace army is, uh, it's the main antagonist. So, of this, of this thing, it's headed by the Ancient Minister and Taboo. So, Ancient Minister, right, uh, is... Rob th the robots. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, so this is the reluctant antagonist because it's under taboo. So the ancient minister before the subspace emissary was the master robot who ruled over the Isle of the Ancient with the rest of the robs. And taboo had the ho entire island held hostage, which forces him to uh, follow follow his orders. None of that is explained to any of this. I know. So Taboo, you know who Taboo is, right? The, like, blue guy from the end of Subspace Emissary? Yeah. He's the embodiment of sub Subspace, and his plan is to cut the world of trophies into pieces and take them to Subspace, which I don't even know what that means, but but Subspace, uh, he can't leave Subspace, so that's why he has to uh, do it by proxy. Isn't that weird? Very weird. Yeah. Ah, uh, and then Petey Piranha. Good old Petey. P Petey looking really good. I gotta say. I gotta say, Petey looks like pretty... pretty solid. I wonder where Petey's originally from. Is he originally from Sunshine? Mm, I don't think so. Have there been, like, other versions of him that don't look like this from before that, maybe? I think so. I don't know, I feel like it's too... It might be too far and few between for that, because I feel like... Yeah. Well, I think... Mar he was, wasn't he in Mario RPG? It's, no. Apparently, if you, um, uh, break both cages at once, the game chooses randomly which princess goes free. Isn't that weird? So you can get a different cutscene? I guess. So why is Wario doing this? Is he who works for him? Uh Wario turns to see a weakened Peach Zelda and aims a cannon at her. Black arrow comes out of the cannon, turns her into a trophy. Kirby and Zelda attempt to chase Wario. I don't know what Wario's deal is. Let's see. Let's see if there's a subspace emissary section. Oh, it's a bomb! There is. Okay, so Wario is trying to... He's actually part of the subspace army. Wario is? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. He has no specific allegiance to Master Hand, and he doesn't like Taboo, but he just likes being a bad guy. He's like having fun being a bad guy. So that's, so that's why... Great. So that's why he's a bad guy. So the next level is in Sky World. Uh... Sky World is, uh... Is the f Uh, let's see. Here we go, welcome to Sky World. Yeah, this is Pit's level. We'll probably do Sky- this level and then call it a day for today. Yeah, that's fine. It's a pretty appropriate, don't so you think? So that's Palatina. She summons him and sends him to take down the subspace army. Gives him a bow. And, uh... Gives him the bow. He has to, like, glide down. Great. Yeah, man. I love that song. Oh, <laughs> On the real, though, Bob Massey 10 is a masterpiece, and I hate that everyone gives a crap because of the that laughing. That is true. I hate that everyone gives the crap because of because of Titus and uh, Eunice laughing. Yeah. I feel like it's just... So this Sky World is not the same Sky World that's in the actual game. Skyfall. <laughs> Let the Sky World. 
Uh, but it's the only level in Subspace Cemetery that has the same name as a level from Smash Bros. proper. In interesting. Interesting. Um... Mr. Yeah. Saturn, little items show and stuff. me your dreams. I thought it was I thought it was cool that they like went out of their way to make like other levels and like campaign stuff for this game. I appreciate it dearly. I think I, that's why I like it so much. I just don't like it. I don't like there's no cohesiveness to it. That's my only problem. What are you talking about? All this great lore? You guys can't see Alex's face right now, but it was like the most like <laughs> trolly like <coughs> hilarious. If I can say. I capped. He he capped. He capped so I, I hard. I capped IRL. <laughs> Kappa for reals. Yeah, that's today's hashtag. Hashtag Kappas for reals. So here's the halberd, which is um, Meta Knight's battleship. But the thing that's crazy is that neither Skyworld or the halberd were ever sucked into subspace, and yet they still appear here. Interesting. So yeah, here comes all the enemies from this level. <laughs> Get ready. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Damn. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Dude, Pit is broken in this game. He's so good. That worked out great. Thank you for dying. So funny, Sakurai, like, gives so much extra love to the games he's worked on. Yeah, like, to the characters that he likes. He must have already known that he was gonna make, uh, a Kid Icarus game, because all this art is, like, totally consistent with it. Or maybe he just loved making Kid Icarus, like, stuff so much again that he made a new Kid Icarus. Just to clarify, I'm not saying Cad Icarus. So this thing's called the Simul. Uh... What is that thing? It's called the Simul. Uh, don't know why it I is called that. Uh, the trophy description says, First, notice the metallic sheen, a specialized coating that allows the Simul to reflect beams and other long-range attacks. Oh my god, I killed myself. The reflected attacks are said to be as strong <sighs> as the reflectors, so it's believed that the coating is based on reflector technology. Coating aside, the four blades attached to its body cannot be neglected. They will slice and dice and slice. Yeah. So that's a Simul. This thing is called a Greep. Uh, it is a sort of like portmanteau of Grim and Reaper. So it's like Grim, Grim Reaper, because it has scythes. Uh, and it might also be like Grim Reaper and Grape mixed together. Because he kind of looks like a grape, right? Right? Like, what percentage would you say he looks like a grape? Like, maybe 6%? 6%? Come yeah. on, give me a little bit more than 6. 12. Okay, thank you. Double 6. Double 6. Double 6. Double 6. That's uh, Alec Trevelyan, 006. What is even happening? No one's talking. They commute without. That's what I'm saying. He could have been like, okay, let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at the least. Mario does talk. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> so like. Does Bit. Bit talks a lot. Yeah. Pit and Mario's trophy in the clouds revives Mario in the blink of an eye. Mario has a flashback to his meeting with the cannonball. He sees Pit and they team up. Hilarious. Those it's weird arms. that Mario is like not the totally main hero of this game. I'm fine with that. I know. It's it's just it's interesting. What? Is this like a like county fair in Skyworld? Skyfall. So that thing is called a Glunder. Uh, I don't know why it's called that. Gal Thunder, some kind of Galvin, Galvin, Galvanized or Gal, like the the same root as Galvantula, the Pokemon probably. Plus Thunder is what my 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 guess would be. Or Globe. And that thing is called a Jick. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, they look a lot like Gordos from uh, Kirby, in my opinion. Uh, but they're like the badass, like, 
Bomberman Zero version of Gordos. Shit. Did you just die from platforming? Yeah, I was trying to get all the items that spawned. I didn't realize. What is that? Alright, cool. That sucked. <laughs> I died because I couldn't keep up. That's the pirate code, dude. You fell behind. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were pirates, but yeah. Kind of. What is anyone? Batman. Batman? Yeah. Anyone is Batman. Anyone is Batman? I guess that's his power. I guess that's his, like... He's an image. Yeah, exactly. I guess that's the whole point of Dark Knight Rises. Dashi, dashi, dasha, dasha. What's going on? How are we feeling? How do you like this? Is this, like, way too hard? I'm just not... It's... I'm very rusty. I'm the rustiest I've ever been in my life right now with this game. Oh! Get out of here. This is crazy hard. I just- I'm also playing as characters I'm not used to, that's all. Yeah, we'll get there. I'm also using... <laughs> this, Let uh, me tell you this, though. Dude, remember when we beat Kaizo Mario all the way? Yeah, I remember. So let's- don't worry about it. Oh, no, I'm not even worried. Ah. What the f- Row turret? More yeah. like, just destroyed me. So the row turret... Uh, it's called the Death Pod, Japanese. This thing's gonna be back in Smash Run, which is exciting, for the 3DS uh, version of the new Smash Brothers. Uh, it's a combination of the words rotate and turret. Yeah. So how about that? So Golden Door is fight scene or level over? Golden Door? Yeah. Did it- was it like under the pillar? No, it was just gold. Oh, Star Fox! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Stage clear! And a Torchic trophy, cool. Torchic! Great. Alrighty. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Okay, so let's see. So we- we just did, in one episode, we did two stages. On intense mode. On intense mode. There are 30 stages. 31 stages. Uh, so... We'll try and do at least two stages a, uh, a episode, I'd say. Yeah, it'll probably take about as long as Kaizo. Give or yeah. take. Yeah, I'd say so. And, uh, it'll be fun. And by the time it's done... Uh, Smash will be out, Smash you'll be happy. Smash will be out, and you'll be happy, yeah. And you'll be like, thank god I don't have to play this anymore. It's exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, we're both excited. I'm more excited than Gerard. Let the record show. If you're this far in the episode, say, hashtag Alex Moore. <laughs> <laughs> I... L Later, man? Later, man? What'd you guys think of the, uh... What'd you guys think, mini question of the day, what'd you guys think of the, uh, like, supercut of the no death run through, uh... That episode is, is an hour long. Yeah, that's nuts. 20 minutes of, of me filling that one level, and then 45 minutes of Kaizo. It's worth it. We gotta, we gotta do the fan service. Shout out to... Oh, what's his name? I don't have his name on hand. Shout out he's to... A, he's uh, a Finnish... A Finnish YouTuber. Yeah. I wanna say that it's like... Ma Maxilin. M-A-X-I-L-L-E-N. I have his information. I'm so sorry if you're listening to this. <laughs> I feel like a, a tool for not remembering. Um... I'm so bad. I am the worst fan service man on the planet. Fan service man? Like, if I... You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. But thank you, he did the master cut. Mm, shout outs to him. We're gonna put his YouTube description in the in the uh, box below. The only thing is that he's a Finnish YouTuber, so if you don't speak Finnish, you're, or Swedish? What is Finnish? Is, is it Finnish? I am too ignorant to know the answer to that Me question. Too. So I'm a it's, it's shitty description. American, poorly educated that is guy. That's very true. Yes, we both are. So yeah, thank huge shout out to him. He made it on his own, and we were like, can we use he this? Made, and he yeah, said he yes. made the uh, he made the first level on his own. It was so funny, and it was so funny that we were like, oh my god, will you please? And then we were like, we'll promote your YouTube channel if you let us upload it. And he was like, well, I speak, speak Finnish. Finnish, so uh, All right, his guys. name is Mika. Mika. Yeah. You found it. Mika. Mika, Mika not Max. Not Maxillin. Yeah. Mika. Mika on What's Twitter. What's his YouTube channel? His, his YouTube channel channel is youtube.com slash Slaykari. S-L-E-I-K-K-A-R-I. Just go say hello. Say thank you. Yeah, Come man. Us. The Beard Bros say thank you. The Beard Bros say thank you. All right. Later, the national, man. The national oh. language of uh, Finland is Finnish. Uh, and uh, Swedish is the second one. And a uh, few people speak Sami. All right. Later, man. Later, man.